So you just picked up a shiny new iPhone 17, 17 Pro, or maybe even the 17 Pro Max, or even the Air. In this episode, we're going to tell you 10 settings that will save iPhone 17 battery life, and this is going to go again for all the 17 models, including the iPhone Air. So let's find out what those are in this video. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and let me just tell you right away, the iPhone 17, 17 Pro and Max have been pretty darn good in the battery life, but still there can be even better based on a 10 of these settings I'm going to tell you here in this video. This always on display has been a fantastic feature by the way. However, that's going to lead me on to talking about my very first tip and that is to turn off the always on display. We're talking about saving battery here. We're not talking about enjoying the best features. So if we scroll, scroll down here, always on display definitely drains more battery than not having it on. Uh, you can see right here, the display will turn off automatically to save battery life when not in use. Um, so that does help a bit, but I find when I just don't have it on in general, I just get longer battery life on pretty much all my iPhones. So that is one tip. However, a lot of people are gonna say, you know what, I just got the 17 because it hasn't always on display. What is this guy talking about? And in that case, go ahead and keep it on. It's not going to be a drastic one. That's not my top tip, um, but it's definitely going to go on there because that's just a thing that comes with them. Now, they do have the low brightness on when you do have always on and display enabled, so it doesn't really hit it too much, but I get about a percent to 3% better. Actually, it's closer to 3% uh, per day if I turn it off. So it's down to that. Do you need that extra few percentage points? In that case, it might just be a feature you want to turn off in an emergency situation. But let's move on to the second one, which is going to be to limit the background app refresh. Now, I've been talking about this tip for a year and it continues to apply uh, years later. You are still going to want to go ahead and turn off background app refresh. So let's go over here down into general under auto fill and passwords. You're going to find background app refresh. Now you can go ahead and click here and just turn off right there and it'll turn all of them off. However, what I like to do is go into Wi-Fi only. Because on cellular data, which was when I'm out and about, I don't want it refreshing anything because that already that's doubling up on the battery. The 5G is already crushing battery compared to Wi-Fi. So having on Wi-Fi only mode will allow the ones that I want. Second thing I do within the same section of background app refresh is you're going to want to scroll and turn off the ones you don't need updating. For example, if I play COD once in a while, why do I need it refreshing? I'll turn it on when I want to play the game and I'll wait for it to load up some stuff. Another one, a couple of games right here. Let's go down here, Duolingo. Like if I'm going to be doing some, um, learning some languages, I don't need that refreshing in the background. Now, what I would leave on is something like Amazon, for example, because I want my orders to be accurate. I'm going to go get my packages, stuff like that. My Apple store, I'll probably leave that on because if I'm ordering an iPhone, I'm ordering an Apple watch, a tablet, whatever I want accurate time and I want it refreshing. So I know exactly what's going on with that. However, I don't need it on for things like Grok, because I'll just go into Grok and use that when needed. I don't need it on for, you know, over here, let's scroll down to another one. How about Subway Surfers, for example? You get the drift. Just go through them and turn off as many as possible to save even more battery life on your iPhone 17. So at number three is going to be the disable location for unused applications. Now, the way you find this is you go into settings, scroll to privacy and security, Go to where location services is and turn it on. And if we go ahead and find the application that we want to turn off, for example, I don't need speed test on right now because I'm not using it at the moment. I don't need target on right now. These things and also keep in mind, these also do have the precise locations on. So that's taking even more better because they're precisely honing in on that exact location. So the more of these you don't need and you could turn off, the more battery life you're going to get. You can also go into system services and tweak around with some of these that you don't need, but be careful because a lot of these settings are important, uh, but you can play around with these and, and find which ones you don't need under system services running in the background. This is kind of buried in here and people don't really think about this much, but it could be a major contributing factor to why your iPhone's battery life is not doing as well as you might have expected. Now, the next one I will recommend is a feature that's built right into the iPhone and it's the low power mode. Now let's go over here to battery life and we're going to scroll down to where you see uh, battery a chart, not charging. We're going to go to power modes here. So scroll down to where you see power modes. Now you can see low power mode right here. 
Use that strategically. This will always get you better battery life because it shuts down the promotion, it shuts down other display options, and it limits things like 5G, iCloud syncing, mail fetching, and more. And so low power mode has been a well-known feature for a long time. It's pretty much the default feature for people who don't want to dig around and try to figure out how to save battery elsewhere. Um, but it will lower the screen on time and stuff like that, brightness a little bit. But you do have to get rid of the 120 hertz. So if you do turn on the low power mode, do keep in mind that this is going to be a iPhone 16, basically, on these ProMotion phones. Uh, with a 60 hertz panel, but it, it's definitely worth the trade off if I'm trying to save battery. Like, I don't care about 120 hertz when I'm trying to save battery. You can also enable it there within control center as well. So, the next one is going to be one some people are going to probably not agree with too much, but I'm going to call it as I see it reducing motion. So, let's head into settings for this feature. We're going to scroll down into accessibility mode. So, find accessibility under general. Scroll down here under display and text size till you find motion and go ahead and reduce motion. Now that's gonna help you quite a bit here. It does limit the nice animations, but if you are looking for the most battery life, this will help just a little bit uh, because those visual effects do eat into the battery just a smidge. Um, but definitely it's something, you know, it's just an extra feature if you wanna turn it off. It's not a necessary one. Uh, most people probably don't even use that, but if you want to get even the best battery life, that can help you a little bit. The next one I'm going to tell you to do is go ahead and go into settings and it's kind of like a three part, um, but we're going to start with the brightness, managing your brightness. Now we're going to go to accessibility first, display and text size, and at the very bottom you'll see auto brightness. Now auto brightness is not for everybody, but auto brightness does affect battery life and long term display performance. It should give you a little bit better battery life because it does optimize for the environment. However, if you find yourself outdoors a lot and you don't need it cranked all the way up to see it, um, it could be actually hurting your battery life. So the second part to this tip is to go into display and brightness and kind of just adjust it to the level that you think uh, you can see it the best, but it's kind of the lowest that you could see it because the lowest you could see it um, is definitely going to save battery. If you go up high, 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 of course, the, the higher brightness is always going to eat up into the battery life. In addition, pay close attention to auto lock. You might turn this on for a second and then forget to turn this off or have it on an extended period of time, forget to turn it off, and then you're eating into your battery. So go ahead and tweak this down. I like one to two minutes. It keeps it on long enough, but doesn't eat the battery too much. I'm leaving only five for this video, um, but the only time you need those auto lock on extended periods if your phone is you're just staring at the screen a lot and you need it on for an extended time. But Manage that stuff pretty well, and at, at number six, that should help you quite a bit. So for the next one, you're going to locate cellular. Now, this is not my main iPhone, so I'm going to bring in the iPhone 17 Pro Max for this option. So click cellular, and then go here until you see cellular data options, and then turn on the 5G auto. If you do want to have even better battery life, and if you're wondering why my display looks like that, it's because I have TrueTone on. If you're like, why is that display yellow on the right? I know someone's going to ask that. But if you go over here, turn on LTE if you want better overall battery life. But 5G auto uh, does optimize pretty well. So that should help a little bit as well. If you have 5G on standalone by itself, you're going to be eating the most battery life. So do pay attention to that if you're looking for the best battery life possible on your iPhone. And number eight is actually something you're not probably thinking about too often, but it's widgets. The more widgets you do have in notifications, stacked widgets with notifications, you are going to drain most battery life. So I would limit my iPhone to the widgets you actually need and then get the ones out of there you don't. Some people are going to argue that doesn't do much. I notice every time I have a ton of widgets, I have worse battery life than when I don't have a bunch of widgets. They take power to run those widgets on the home screen, believe it or not. So I would optimize and manage what you need and kind of keep it minimal if you want the best battery life there. So number nine extends to making your capacity last longer, therefore giving you better battery life in the long haul. Go in the battery settings, scroll down here to charging, and turn on this feature right here, optimize battery charging. Now, if you want it to last a little bit longer, you could lower the charge limit down to about 80%. The more you cycle up to 100, you're gonna have more cycles on there. Some people just can't get by with no 80% per day though, so I get it. But the least you could do is turn on the optimized battery charging. That helped me quite a bit. 
ever since they've introduced that feature, it makes my iPhone have longer capacity over time. So I do like that quite a bit. And the very last one is to just figure out which applications you're not using the most and kind of just get rid of them because believe it or not, a lot of these apps that are just sitting collecting dust on your home screen are draining battery in the background by their background processes. So I'd get them out of there, uh, honestly. So do kind of like a monthly or even a quarterly sweep of the applications you don't need and your iPhone should get better battery life as it's not storing stuff on home screen that doesn't need to be there. So think of less is more in that situation. So those are my 10 tips on how to save iPhone 17 battery life. You apply these tips to, I don't care which iPhone it is, the 17, the 17 Pro, the 17 Pro Max, or the iPhone Air, they will all increase in battery life in more than they already are. So enjoy your shiny new iPhone. Use the tips that are gonna helpful to you, or helpful to you, but actually won't mess up your overall experience. Like if you want the always on display, go for it. But I'm just saying, Use those tips, keep them in the back of your mind when you need that extra battery life, and enjoy. I'll catch you on the next episode. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, educational, or just informative, do me a favor, click the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will catch you all in the next episode. Nick here. Be sure to be well, and peace. Peace.